everyone, welcome to today's episode of Candid Kaya. Today's episode is dedicated to the STEM field. So I have Suna here, and she is going to talk about how you can become a scientist. Stay tuned. All right, Suna, let the viewers know just a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, my name is Suna, and I am from Maryland. Uh, I went to undergrad at George Washington University. I studied biomedical engineering. And then for grad school, I went to Johns Hopkins. I studied material science and engineering and for applications in biotechnology. And I have had an almost 10 year career as a scientist, an industry scientist working on the safety and the effectiveness of drug products. So for many disease states, uh, cancer, of course, oncology, immunology, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular, so so across the whole spectrum of disease diseases. Wow! All right, <laughs> so she's a real scientist, y'all. All right, Suna. So tell us a little bit about what, when, and why did you decide to become a scientist? Yeah, that's kind of tricky. It's an it was it's never very straightforward. I think for anybody, I think a lot of people have a natural interest in it. Mm -hmm. But for me, um, I actually wanted to be a psychologist. Okay. But then while I was in middle school, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And so I was, I guess, privileged to be able to kind of go with her along the journey of just like being treated and having those one-on-one -on -one conversations with doctors, uh, learning about immunology, learning about like uh, the different therapeutics that were coming out. So, but then for me, I think uh, when it comes to cancer, it's always... I wish we could detect it earlier. Right. So going into my college career curriculum stage in life, it was definitely about, I want to contribute in the way of early diagnostics. And so that was biomedical engineering. It was imaging. It was understanding the biology of it and then tying it towards like what kind of technologies can enable people to be able to understand better what's going on in the body. So it was really... Um, me having exposure and 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 kind of like walking with my mother through that process, those processes. Oh, all right. So tell us what type of characteristics and attributes do you think make a good scientist? Um, definitely curiosity. Okay. It's all, I mean, that is science, curiosity, research. Yes, I have this answer and I want to know more. I want to go deeper. So it's it's a, a natural wanting of just that why. So if you were a kid who always questioned your parents or, or questioned what you were learning in class, like why? Okay, how? All right, well, in, in <laughs> what ways does it actually uh, come to this outcome? Then chances are you're, you're some type of scientist. There, right. there's, there's a very big aspect of question that comes with your personality mm. so i think curiosity is is the number one and then number two is like just driven towards a purpose i think people who end up in especially the life sciences definitely find a connection between what they're curious about and where they actually can contribute a solution to so that's 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 it. It's, it's the questioning and then just like having this kind of like, I think I can help here. Right. Yeah. Right. So. All right. Good to know. Let's see. Can you describe a day in the life of a scientist? Sure. Um, well, you go into work. Uh, <laughs> usually you're reviewing maybe an experiment outcome of the day before. You're meeting with uh, people who probably have more depth and knowledge mm -hmm. to kind of understand, um, discuss like what you think is the best next steps. Like maybe you got an outcome that you didn't expect and now you're just like, oh wait, we need to go back here and, and insert this other experiment. So you're designing experiments. Okay. Um, I did that at a desk. Um, so, you know, the cubicle, <laughs> um, some people have offices, you're just in there and you're, you're doing research, you're trying to understand the material better, you're getting input from you know, people who have more years and experience in the technical area, and then you hit the lab. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think what people don't know about scientists is a lot of labs, especially even in industry, like uh, we listen to music, <laughs> we, we talk, we're, we're just as crazy, we have office talk, but while we're doing it, we're kind of like, uh, doing our thing at the same time you know some people 
uh, do prefer to be more, you know, have their headbo headphones in and doing their own thing. Other people, some labs are just like, kind of just like, oh, let's have a sing-along right now <laughs> because this is my jam right here. So it's, it's, it can be, depending on the lab that you're in, it could be like a plethora of things, but usually you're at the desk part of the time doing your research, doing um, your due diligence, and then you're in the lab and you're running experiments and you're building technologies and, and you're coming up with results that, that can change the course of whatever it is that you're, you're looking into. Right. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what has been some of your most rewarding work so far. Rewarding work? Um, honestly, it's helping enable scientific advancements. Okay. Um, I think I, I do play more of a applied science uh, support role in, in the roles that I have played. Like I'm, I'm not of a researcher's mind. I'm more of a, the let's, let's find out how to build the technologies around them and dive into these questions deeper. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's different places for different types of scientists. And, and mine has always been more of a, how can my work help support advance this okay. or advance whatever discoveries or let you know a little bit more about whatever pathway we might be exploring or whatever uh, drug configuration, molecular kind of like uh, stance that, that people want to take. What, how can I help? progress that and, and give you more information to let you know if it's the right way or the wrong way. All right, Suna, now I want to get just a little bit of your advice. What are your three best tips to becoming a successful scientist? All right. Well, one, it's going to be the networking. Okay. I think it is going to be coming out of your, your shell, your safe place. Um, and, and kind of just exposing that side of you. You you know you want, you're curious. You know you want to explore different things. So let people know and let many people know. <laughs> let people know who are your professors. Let people know who are your friends and family because they will meet scientists <laughs> and you can make those connections, but it's, it's networking. Two, um, let your support system be just that. Don't abandon don't go into a shell don't hide all the time in your lab mm -hmm. uh definitely you, you're gonna need that boost these are these are not the easiest things to dedicate your life to you know it's mm -hmm. it's not it's not a cakewalk so you gotta you've gotta let people re-energize you you've gotta reconnect with you know the human aspect of how you want to move about in this life you know so I think the support system is just as important as the focused networking and, and productive productivity in that aspect. Uh, three, oh gosh, expose yourself to as much as you can. You might think, like I started off really curious about cell biology. Um, and just through that path alone, I got, I got to understand, you know, how nanotechnology plays a role in manipulating cells. And then you get to like bigger diagnostics. <laughs> so it, it's, you just, you never know exactly where your curiosity ends and in what place. I've seen plant-based scientists move into the realm of therapeutic development. So it's, you just never know. To cosmetic scientists who started off as, you know, um, cellular biologists, like you just, you never know. Let your curiosity never keep you in any kind of limitation. Hmm. All right. Those are three great tips. Thank you, Suna. All right. Next piece of advice. What would you tell someone who wants to become a scientist one day? Who wants to become a scientist? Uh, I would definitely tell that person, pursue it. Science is such a, you, it's such a broad term. There, there are so many things to explore. I, I would think that anyone who is bold enough to make that statement is saying, I want to look into something. And there's so much to look into. Uh, Google is your friend. <laughs> Google is one of your best friends. I think access 
access to resources, access to mentors, access to people in education um, is, is the number one thing that can help you kind of like secure that mm -hmm. because you have to know what's out there. You have to know um, who's hosting after school programs or who's looking for summer research interns, even at the high school level. A lot of times, even at the middle school level, there's mm. STEM camps. There are definitely resources out there that are looking for for young students who have no limitations, you know? So it, it's it, we're all out there. We're all out there trying to find the best minds to, to help drive solutions. So find connect with us through Google. Yeah. Find out where we are. Explore more. <laughs> Explore it. Yes. Yeah. All, right. all right, Suna. So I have two more questions for you, and they are going to be finish my sentence. Great, great. So first question is, when I think of women in STEM, I think of Game changers. All right. Game changers. I, 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 I just think that there are so many solutions unexplored, and that is because they have not yet voiced up. I think there's so many unique ideas out there that feel as if they're, they're not supposed to be there, and so they step back. But, you know, like Santa Bird said, you got to lean in, you got to, you got to, you've got to give us those ideas because there's a lot of solutions. So they're all game changers. They're all game changers. When I think of black women in STEM, I think of... Oh, you're going to hate me. Bigger game changers? <laughs> um, I just think that there is so much room to make um, black women scientists, uh, underrepresented scientists in any field, come with so many different perspectives and that just means that they're different thinkers we cannot continue to expect great accomplishments in science without tapping into this underrepresented uh different kind of game-changing mindset different perspectives different backgrounds you you see solutions differently right. and so you you attack problems differently uh, there's there's so much amazing innovation hidden within these underrepresented communities, especially black women, you know, I, uh, healthcare disparities, you know, thank goodness, you know, people like Serena with her platform, she's speaking out against, uh, with, uh, on different, different topics that affect black women. Mm -hmm. And it, we need people in research to, to, to handle that kind of angle from it as well. Like mm -hmm. our, how can we better treat, how can we expect better outcomes in our communities? Like, I, I just think that there's so much room to contribute there. So that's, that is what, <laughs> that is what's coming out of <laughs> black women scientists. All right. They're going to yeah. be bigger gang changers. Bigger gang changers. <laughs> all right, yeah. Suna. Well, that was all the questions I have for you today. Um, tell us what should we expect from Suna in the future? Um, great segue. Uh, <laughs> I, I expect to continue finding rare talent like I, I definitely want to take a, a more business approach to it to where we can bring more solutions to the table and solve many more problems especially in healthcare through our diversity of thought as scientists like I, I, I definitely believe that you know cures are out there they're just hidden in the minds of people who need, need a little support. push yeah right. so that's what you can expect from me. I will keep up with you. I'll let you, I'll let you know. I'll let all of you know. Perfect. Like, <laughs> Perfect. Well, if you guys have any questions or comments for Suna or myself, please just leave them below and we'll make sure that they get answered. We hope you enjoyed today's interview and best of luck to you guys on your scientific journey. See you next time.